Damien met her. So, in 1994, we lost a rock legend in itself, a rock icon. And, well, let me tell you a little story. So, the year after, in 1995, I was 10 years old. And my brother, who's two years older than I am, started listening to this band, um, Nirvana. And I didn't know who they were. I didn't seem to care, I guess, at the time. But as the time went on, I started thinking, hey, this music's kind of catchy. I didn't want to become a fan because I didn't know how my parents would react. But I knew that this kind of music was actually pretty cool. So by the seventh grade, I became a big fan. And since then, you know, even after high school, yeah, I've... I'm still a big Nirvana fan. Not as, I don't know if it's as much as it was when I was in high school, but I'm still a big fan. I'm still one of the biggest fans. And because 2012 they reunited with uh, Paul McCartney, not not singing any Beatles or Nirvana songs, however, just the fact that they got back together for uh, a, a good cause was awesome. So. The thing is, is that everybody has a big influence in their life. Every person will be influenced by a musician or a band. Um, the late 60s had Jimi Hendrix, um, The Doors, uh, 60s had The Beatles, you know, uh, in the 80s had Metallica, and I guess ACDC. The point I'm trying to make, the point I'm trying to make right now is that, yes, there was a big influence in the fact that music was kind of blah in the 90s. Uh, and then came Nirvana. And Nirvana, although started in 87, it was still one of the biggest things. And grunge was all a dirty word, apparently. They were grunge. They were. They made this music, and later they said, "Oh, we're all we're an, we're an alternative band." This mix of punk and and a garage rock, and they call it then they called it grunge, and uh, it was cool, and it's still cool. I think one of the biggest things is people still, I guess talk about the death of Kurt Cobain like they have no idea how it happened and you know I've given up on that a long time ago well the reason that people would say he killed himself is because uh, he always sung about suicide and drugs and all that kind of stuff and so if he committed suicide that would probably be the biggest you know evidence you know, that you could think of. Uh, when I was 14, I saw a Kurt and Courtney story where they interviewed El Duce and, you know, asked him, and he said, oh, yeah, they wanted me to kill Kurt Cobain. You know, Courtney wanted me to do, wanted me to do that. And I met a, I, I hate Courtney Wolf, and I rarely hate people, but, you know, she just piece of shit. I don't think that she did it. I don't know if she did it. I don't know if she whacked Kurt Cobain. But the fact of the matter is, he's gone, but his music lives on. And still being a fan, and when I joined YouTube, I got to meet other fans across the world. And I thought, I thought that was even better. And look, I mean, they have influenced a lot of people. And they've influenced a lot of bands. And it is a shame because we don't really know what would have happened if Kurt Cobain was alive today. And we all get that with other people and other artists. So, this day was a sad day and it was a rainy day like it is here. And uh, this day we remember a music legend, Kurt Cobain.